I came to the Baker Institute back in 1978 to start a program that would study immunology, genetics, and reproductive biology in the horse. In immunology, we've been able to make new tools, that is, antibody reagents that are used by scientists around the world to characterize immunodeficiency diseases in horses clinically and to follow the responses to vaccines. In genetics, our senior mare in our herd was selected by the National Institutes of Health to be the donor horse for the horse genome sequence. This was a real major advance in horse genetics. The DNA sequence of Twilight is on the NIH website and it's accessed by scientists all around the world every day in their genetic studies. In reproduction, we've been able to characterize some of the mechanisms that prevent mammalian mothers from rejecting their fetuses during pregnancy the way they would reject a transplant. And these mechanisms are really important to understand because they have application in other areas of biology and medicine, including tumor biology and, of course, in clinical transplantation. The horses here have a pretty easy life. They're under the tremendous care of Jess Crum, who is a wonderfully experienced horsewoman. And here comes Jess with the donkey. She's very, very cute, but not very well behaved. Hello, Snoop. I wish the horses of the Baker Institute herd could understand the contributions they've made to equine research in the United States and around the world.